Yo, so I haven't filmed a video in a while. Uh, what have I been doing in the past two weeks, you ask? I've been researching a lot about scalable architecture. Everything, man. Everything from the infrastructure to the security. I've been teaching myself a lot about security. And I feel like it's not the right time to share it with you. I could have it completely wrong. <laughs> Um, I also went up to the cottage with the boys. It was Canada Day weekend, and I was like, guys, what would be more awesome than hiking to the top of a mountain at two in the morning? We didn't actually plan anything, so we're trying to come up with our... We had a good time, but I, I tried to make a vlog out of it. It's just a whole bunch of random footage, so. <laughs> oh. arr, arr. We found the real life Chewbacca, boys. I got an idea for today's video. Testing, testing. I started programming in a high school class, by the way. And my teacher goes, make a game or make whatever you want. So I made a game for a high school project. I had only been programming for four months. I just learned what if statements were. Interesting. I need to find my code from like, oh, grade 12. No. Yeah, so the second year I was programming is really when I started getting into some good stuff. Do, 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 do. Old, old hard drive. Oh my God. Look at this raw footage. Okay. All right, guys, we finally made it out of cost. Jesus Christ, these are scary videos. Guys, should I make a whole series of going through my old hard drive? Huh! Huh! Oh no, I don't even want to look at it. We we were programming in something that was like fake Java. It was like H that's what it was, hsa.console. HSA only exists in Holtsoft's savage version of Java. It's designed to confuse and infuriate programmers. This looks right. This looks right. So I have to install this. Open with <gasps> Dude, this is bringing back so many memories. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm actually dead. This is what we programmed in. 1,700 lines of code. Placing a 20 by 20 lava block across the screen to create a <laughs> lava pool. Oh, no. Why did I put the brackets on their own lines? I'm so confused. You guys have no idea what this is. This I'm just telling you right now. This is the shittiest game you've ever played. <gasps> I made a Pac-Man version of Minecraft. Okay, so I can do Wasat. Actually, I kind of like this. I kind of like this. I mean, I like the menu. It's pretty sexy. Let's start the game, okay? So you're in. <laughs> there's no, there's no game loop. That means if I do nothing, the game does nothing. If I move, then the game does something. <laughs> Let's keep moving. La, 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 la. And you're gonna wonder what's happened. Oh, look, a zombie spawn. The zombie looks like it's following me, but the zombie actually is moving in random directions right now. I actually, I did something really sneaky. Now the zombie's gonna follow me. I did a really sneaky thing. What's the point of this game? I have no idea. Um, look, you, you're collecting experience points. Let's say I die. Let's say I hit a zombie. Oh. Well, I just disappeared. Well, I'm back. Okay. I didn't get killed by that zombie. Oh, I lost now. But the game is the same every time. I couldn't figure out how to do pathfinding. So that's why the zombies are moving in random directions. You can see that. Look, right there. You have no idea. Look, I'm saying create a rectangle. Two pixels wide and two pixels height. I create another rectangle that looks like this. And another rectangle looks like this. And all these rectangles that look like this. And that's actually what generates the, the lava over here Ooh, generates a random number between 1 and 28 this for loop goes between 1 and the x random generator and then adds 20 each time to the x value to create the random x value wait why didn't i just multiply i don't think i knew what multiplication was again look at all the c dot i remember because i i couldn't figure out how to put images into my game so i just filled rectangles everywhere holy shit man this code is ridiculous oh player movements when i was coding this this was some complex stuff at the time look at this i commented this why am i commenting 
Okay, so every 10 player movements. Okay, I knew I knew how to use modulus. Make sure that the enemy will not spawn on top of the player. Okay. Why this is such bad style putting continue. I should have made this its own function. So I tried my best, guys, but this is so stupid here. I remember I was like, you know, I could create a math formula for the experience points, but instead, let's put a hundred if else statements. <laughs> Well, um, I could have actually condensed this code into like 500 lines. Oh my God, I'm pretty sure everybody in my class did this as well, like filling rectangles. It was like awful. This is what happens when you try to make a game after four months of programming. Why is this Windows XP that I'm looking at right now? One year later, after I made this, I made the time lapse program. I mean, there's always hope. This is like info. Unfortunately, you have become stuck in a mine. My teacher's probably going, what are the upgrades? Oh, I'm level two. There's no upgrades. Upgrades coming soon. Oh, the reason I'm showing you guys this is because this is how I started programming. Um, actually, I kind of lied to you guys. This is the second game that I've ever made. And looking at some scary history, spaghetti code, even more spaghetti. If you want to look at some more spaghetti code, hit that subscribe button.